Hello and welcome to Woke Watch. Now if you've seen this channel before, you may be aware that whenever I record an episode of this series, I'll say something along the lines of, many of the problems faced by minority groups are exacerbated by minorities within the minorities. People who are woke as fuck, the eternally offended, people who make problems where there are none. In effect, they just ruin it for everyone else. These are individuals who are so narcissistic, I bet they look at photographs of themselves while they masturbate. So today, I'll be putting a name to one of these individuals, so together we can see how divisive and destructive wokeness can be. From New York, this is James Rose, who used the pronouns she, her, and they, them anything other than what he actually fucking is. And James is described as a gender fluid actor and a trauma informed yoga instructor. What the merry fuck is a trauma informed yoga instructor? Why doesn't she them just put in her bio, I like making shit up? Surprise, surprise, James has a big following on TikTok, the social media platform for the mentally disadvantaged. But I'm not going to inflict any of James's videos on you. Firstly, because I'm not sure about copyright claims. And secondly, they are fucking excruciating. She, them, talks the same way that all of these whatever they are do. You know, I'm such an individual, but I'm more than that. I'm a hero and my own inspiration, but really, I'm still just a victim. So here is the main thrust of James's argument. She says, I'll play along, she says that as a trans woman who also identifies as non-binary, you attention-seeking fucktard, she says she should be allowed to use women's locker rooms. And any women that don't agree with her are misogynists. It's James's opinion that anyone who identifies as a woman, including trans women who've had no surgery, should be able to use the women's locker rooms. And if a biological or real woman has a problem with that, she is the aggressor. So ladies, if you're at the gym getting changed and a man in heels wanders in and starts waving his dick in your face and you have a problem with that, you are a bigot. According to this cross-dressing loon, Women are conditioned into having internalised misogyny and viewing anything male, and let's be honest, a cock and bollocks is about as masculine as it can get. To see anything male is either a threat or even a form of violence. Now I have to say, if a female acquaintance of mine came running out of the changing room screaming there's a man called Veronica in there with an erection, then yes, violence would probably ensue. Do you see the entitlement going on here? James thinks because she wants to use the women's changing rooms, then she should be allowed. And fuck that some women will find that threatening. I mean, to be fair, she could use the men's changing rooms and the majority of men will just go, what's this one come as? But the thing is, under woke ideology, identifying as a trans woman or non-binary puts her much higher up the victimhood hierarchy than a biological woman. James also insists that women-only spaces automatically include trans women. Well, no, they don't. If you're a man and you want to wear a dress, you fucking go, girl. But if you are male and you're trying to encroach into female-only spaces, that makes you a fucking predator. She, them, also claims that biological women are safer in the company of trans women. Sorry, I'm calling bullshit. Now, I've met many trans people, and for the most part, they're great. But that's because I don't associate with the woke, screaming, entitled, the world revolves around me types. The vast majority of trans people are fine. But we need to go back to the start of the video. We're talking about minorities within minorities. A study conducted by the independent newspaper, looking at the British prison population, found that among transgender prisoners, a staggering 41% are sex offenders. No other societal demographic gets anywhere near that. So essentially, James, like many woke trans activists, wants to invade women's spaces, take away women's rights, but is happy to turn a blind eye to the problem of trans women committing rape. Yeah, keep it light, Danny. To conclude, anyone can identify as whatever they like, they can wear what they want, but there's two conditions. The first is, the rest of society doesn't have to buy into their madness. And secondly, no one should get rights by encroaching on others. 
To put it simply, there's only one rule we need, and it's don't be a dick. You drive past a school at 40 miles an hour, you're being a dick. If you are a biological man, and you want to go into a woman's changing room and get your own dick out, you're being a dick. As ever, thanks for watching.